Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your general bi-weekly tarot and psychic um, readings. And so we're going to have the tarot reading in the first portion um, and then the psychic reading in the second part of the video. And I will be using the after tarot deck. And for the psychic um, messages I will be using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Very beautiful cards. Um, so doing the tarot reading first and then we're going to pick a card to start off uh, our channeling and then we'll see what messages we get for everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so they may not make sense to everyone because they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way with them being general. Uh, but you can watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages and if you're interested in a private reading all the links you need are in the description box below and we're running specials so special offer reading so if you're interested in getting a reading those are available uh, as well on the specials page of my website also in the de description box below so there you go thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoy your readings and that you have a wonderful time ahead and i'll talk to you again very soon take care Hi Pisces and welcome to your reading. So I'm going to show you the cards and then go through the messages with you. We have a bit of an interesting reading. I'm a Pisces sun as well. So at the bottom of the deck is the overall energy. We do have the eight of pentacles and then we have the eight of swords, the page of wands, the seven of swords, the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and the Tower. And I wanted to just clarify the Tower and I pulled the Queen of Cups. Okay, so, um, I've seen the Seven of Swords in quite a few readings for Pisces here on YouTube. So I don't know what this is, but let's just take extra caution, extra precautions during this time when it comes to work, our ideas, um, our emotional selves as well, um, and physically as well. I feel like for some of us, it definitely what this is about is taking on more than we can handle and a break down or a break, yeah, a breakdown happening. It could also be a break up with the eight of cups here i do feel so we have one two three eight in the reading so eights usually have to do with business with wealth um it can represent continuation repetition cycles um you know thinking about the future um also repetitive work Okay, so kind of um, some things you do in cycles or things you do over and over again. But it's also about building up momentum. So it could, the tower here can also represent breakthrough because we've been building up momentum. Um, right. For some of us, this is about... You know what I see? For some of us, this is just about needing time for ourselves. It's just about uh, blocking people out on social media, texts, emails, phone calls, anything like that. We just need time to regroup. We feel emotionally depleted. And this could be because with the Eight of Pentacles, we've been working very, very hard. We're pushing ourselves to the limit until now, or we will be doing this in this time frame. And we'll come to a point where just we just need time to rest okay we just need time to regroup to collect our thoughts we need our solitude we need to just get back to center okay and so for some of us that's what's going on for others of us this can be about about walking away from something something that has been very challenging mentally emotionally and physically it could have been involving a fire sign because the tower here is Aries. So it could be Aries or Leo or Sagittarius. And I feel that 
okay here's what I'm looking at so for some of us we were supposed to walk away from this person and we knew we were supposed to with the eight of swords we've been trying to avoid it and so now they are walking away and we're just left to pick up the pieces I do feel like ultimately we'll, we're, we're glad that things happen this way because we know it was supposed to happen with the tower. And so it's like, okay, well, now that I'm by myself, I can regroup, I can think about things, I can start to work on myself again. And with the devil here, it could have been a love triangle situation, it could have been dealing with someone who's a narcissist, dealing with someone who's a bit of a manipulator, dealing with someone who's a bit of a bully or a bit of a control freak. Um, and we're just finally free from them. So that's kind of good news. For those of us, this is about job offers and opportunities taking us out of unemployment and, you know, kind of giving up on ourselves and losing hope. I do feel we will need to bring to take a new approach to how we do this job. Our old way of doing things is not going to work here. And That can be like where, you know, for example, in the way how the way we used to do things with work was show up, do some work, but take some break time and take some tea time and then do some more work and then maybe, you know, take off for lunch or anything like that. I feel like we are moving into a busy, fast paced environment where they have different standards and we just need to change our approach. The old ways of doing things is not going to work. We need to change our approach because otherwise uh, we may not be there for very long and that would be a shame. So just remember that. Um, for others here, there may be some big argument or uh, something erupting. Uh, something we've been trying to avoid is now erupting and it could be surrounding a fire sign individual so Aries Leo Sagittarius um, we also have uh, air signs so Gemini Libra Aquarius and we also have a Virgo in here so this could be with love this could be with work this could be with friendships um, but I do feel like there is an argument or where we just finally say what we've been trying to, you know, avoid saying. This could also represent, this could be a breakup, okay, that happens as a result of this. It could also be um, going our separate ways in terms of a business partner. However, with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles there, I do feel like this is a good move to make. I do feel like we may have been involved with someone who was uh, not very honest, um, putting in very little work or effort, but taking more of the, the rewards than uh, were due to him or her. Um, unfair situations, theft, even fraud, stuff like that. And so it was just time to go with the Eight of Cups here. It was just time to break this off. So I do feel like going your separate ways is a good thing. So just focus on yourself and rebuilding your brand, your business. Um, this is a good thing. When the tower shows up, uh, whatever is taken away, uh, it was supposed to go away. It's it's as it's, it's, it's simple as that, okay? Um, it was not serving us. It was holding us back, dragging us down. Uh, we were meant to walk a different path and that's why the tower happens for some of you i do see job opportunities coming up but we may have to uh, be in a completely different environment than what we're used to whatever that means um, because there's also an element of isolation or solitude coming up here. And again, it is a new way of doing things. I feel that it is something that will pay off for us in the long run. So if we can stick with it, that would be great. Um, the key is to just detach ourselves emotionally from the situation to try be, to be practical and realistic about it. 
focus on, on the business opportunities, focus on the financial opportunities that this brings us. It's not going to be forever, okay? Um, so making that kind of sacrifice, if we could, it would be a good move for us to make. And I do see for others of us, whether again it's with love or work or family, I do see us walking away from a difficult, controlling, um, stubborn, narcissistic, manipulative individual. And this person may have been, you know, um, chipping away at our self-confidence and self-esteem. They may have told us uh, that we can make it on our own. They may have told us that there's nothing that anyone else can do and there's no one who is there for us, that sort of thing. And that's how they kept us with them. Or no one else is going to hire us. Or if we go, they're going to make it so that no one else hires us or anything like that, okay? Um, but I do feel we will be free from that situation. And we have something new coming up, a new job or a new relationship or a new focus for us um, that is a lot healthier and more fruitful for us in the long run. For some of us, I do see, you know, dealing with either we're leaving home or this is someone else uh, who's leaving home. Uh, to do with study, study or work, study or job. For those of us, this is about moving during this time frame, and that's all that is. Uh, pay attention, read the fine print. Um, you could be moving out on your own, or this is just moving house during this time with the Eight of Cups and the Tower. Um, I do feel like you need to pay attention to the details read the fine print, uh, get clear, concise answers before you sign. Um, and yeah, I do, I do see you with the seven of swords. It could just represent packing your bags and it could be where, you know, you're packing stuff that maybe you should just give away. And it could just be that it doesn't have to be horrible. Let's look at the card for the psychic messages. So we have number five, and this is, is uh, the message is orphaned. Um, so just take a minute to look at the card, take it all in, pay attention to numbers, colors, images, words. Just take it all in and see what it tells you directly. What that does is it opens you up to receive a direct message specific to just you from your own guides. So you can pause the video and do this for a little while until you feel like you're, um, you've quiet, you, you were able to quiet your mind um, so that you, you can open up to just receive without looking to get answers, just receiving them. But I do see with the number five, there are definitely changes happening. Uh, I do see empty nest. So for some of us, this is about, you know, dealing with our children going away for school or for work, or they're just moving out because it's just that time. Um, for those of us, I do feel like this is walking away from a, a relationship, but it wasn't going anywhere. Okay. So if this is what you're dealing with, uh, and especially if you were dealing with a control, controlling individual, a narcissist, um, it's a good thing that you're getting out of out of that situation and if they're walking away do not follow them i do see emotional exhaustion so again we just need time to regroup we need some time alone we need some time to collect our thoughts we need some time to um you know practice our meditation to do our yoga to do our prayers um so I do see a separation or, or an isolation from the world happening at some point during this time frame where we just say, you know, we turn everything off and we're just alone and meditating and doing what we do um, to recharge our own batteries. For 
for some of for some of you I do see wedding plans falling through and I'm sorry if you're dealing with that however if this is what the tower talks about for you try to focus on the fact that even though it doesn't make sense now when things calm down you will see that this is truly for the better so I hope that helps You could be dealing with a loss. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if I receive the messages, I have to deliver them because probably they're going to make sense to someone. It is not for everyone, so it is not going to apply to everyone. So try to just take away what makes sense to you, what resonates with you, and you know, not freak out or worry about the things that make absolutely no sense to you. It just means that it's not for you, okay? But for some people, and I feel like it's not that many of you out there, but for some of you, um, this could even be a miscarriage and if you're dealing with that my heart goes out to you um, but yeah I do see you soul searching or looking for answers or looking for what your next step should be um, I feel like something unexpected may happen during this time and maybe that's what the, the tower is about. And so I feel like that makes you rethink certain things. If this is the case, again, it's very important with the Eight of Cups as well that we don't dwell on the pain that we try to work through the pain um and i know that's easier said than done i know that i'm aware of that but the thing is because i'm seeing the five of cups now in my head so if we dwell on the pain we may fall into depression or anything like that and it's just going to be de more difficult to pick ourselves up again further this is just about a house move and feeling out of place feeling alone because you're now in a new place and you don't know anyone and you don't know your surroundings and uh it's just going through that transition phase of where you move house and now you just have to start from scratch and get to know the people around you and get to know in the community you're in and uh and anything like that so uh it doesn't have to be all bad For those of you, I do feel like something you've started is going to deal with a break, uh, a suspension, um, a temporary hold, or, <clears throat> or you just have to let it go for now. We just have to put it down for now um, to go back to it into the future at some point so that could be where you've just you know started working on uh starting your own business and something happens you just need to go back to work or you need to go back to a regular job to make enough money and this could be to do with a move or it could be to do with a landlord um being difficult or having a conflict with your landlord and then they're telling you you have to move and you didn't plan for that so now you just have to go back to work so that you can raise money or save money It could be with a relationship where you thought you were going in a certain direction and you find out that you're not on the same page or you don't want the same things. But again, try to focus on the fact that it's better that you know this now as opposed to you know, investing years and years into this relationship and then finding out that you have nothing in common anymore and you don't know each other anymore. I do feel like for some of you, you're waiting for someone or you're waiting for something and you're starting to lose hope. I feel that it is coming, whatever or whoever you're waiting on, they're coming. They're just dealing with delays. And remember, Mercury is uh, going retrograde on the 9th, so um, we can expect delays. Or this is also about where you receive, you hope to receive a message from someone or they tell you that they're going to send you an email or a text or a message or call you. 
um, and they don't, and then you just lose hope or you lose faith completely within that person or that situation. Actually, there may be a technical glitch at fault, like service crashing or anything like that. Um, and that's why they can't get in touch with you even though they told you they would. So try to stay calm and give people the benefit of the doubt and just get more information uh, or get clarity about what happened before you react um, to whatever's going on. And this is about, I feel like it is to do with a love situation, with um, a friendship, but also with work where they tell you we're going to contact you by then. And if you don't hear it, I feel like it's like if you don't hear from us by that time, uh, then you didn't get it. And so you get to that time, you don't hear from them and that's it. You lose all hope. Uh, you um, you feel like, you know, you need a drink and you feel like I don't, I, I giving up and just being in a bad place. But actually you hear from them a couple of hours later or the next day or a couple of days later and they tell you that they've been having technical issues or um, someone who was supposed to sign off wasn't in the company anymore or there's been issues with the company or anything like that and it's just been a delay. But they still get in touch with you. And yeah, I... I I get the idea of sacrificing something so that you can move forward and it's going to apply in very different ways for different people but something needs to be let go of for now um, if you are to move forward with the direction you want to move forward in so that was a bit of an interesting reading uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how the cards apply to you if they do or how the psychic messages apply to you if they do. Um, be sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional information that may apply to you. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed your reading and that you have a wonderful time ahead. Make the best of it and I will talk to you again very soon. Take care.